Hello and welcome to this month's Maggie Moment. I want to chat today a little bit about co-parenting because I often have parents come up to me and say, oh my goodness, my husband and I are not on the same page or how do I get them on the same page? And I need to reassure you that you are the only person who sees the world as you see it. Even your siblings don't see it like you. So every human being has a completely different view in their mind of how to be a parent. And there's two different views of that too. One is the conscious, aware choice I want to make to be a loving, connected parent who can stay patient. And then the other part of you is the autobiographical memory that's being driven from your own childhood experiences, especially when your parents had less than wonderful moments. So can you see at different times, while we're calm, we're coming from a different, logical, rational place, but when we're fired up on two hours of sleep with a really difficult toddler, it doesn't look quite the same. So I need to reassure you that co-parenting is a challenge for us all. And even those of you who have consciously chosen a partner in life to have children with, who have similar values to you, maybe come from the same cultural background, you will still have differences because there's also gender differences. So again, depending on the nature of either of your same sex parent also influences the choices you make as a mother and a father. But it's not all doom and gloom because really the thing that actually creates us together creating children is the fact that we have a capacity to love. And the capacity for us to love our children is also linked to the capacity to love the co-parent that we are living with. Now, I'm not going to chat today about co-parenting with a parent who lives in a different house or co-parenting with a step-parent. I'm just going to say those of you living in the same house, if you're finding there are some things that are really triggering you with the choices that your other parent are making, in the heat of the moment is not the moment to have that conversation. So I want you to keep note of what particular part of that choice has upset you or bothered you and keep it in mind. And then when you find a time when both of you are in a good space and you know you can pick those times, I want you to sit down and have a chat and say, look, there's some things I think, can we have a conversation? Because I think we've got a difference of opinion around how to handle that situation. So I need to kind of um, listen to your choice and then I'm going to look at my choice and can we work out something that we're in roughly in cahoots with. Now I am going to say there are tendencies in families to have the good cop and the bad cop um, and sometimes that works really really well if you enjoy being in that position but also what I tend to find is that your kids just learn to adapt around you. What they need to know if you're a firm parent or you're the soft parent is do you love me? That's exactly what they need to know. Can I rely on you? Are you aiming to keep me safe? Are you consistent? Or one minute you're this and one minute you're that. So again, keep in mind that the things that really distress children are complete chaos and rigidity where there's no flexibility. So being reasonably consistent within a middle ground is, is absolutely okay, even if you don't agree with each other. So again, having those quiet conversations, working out what might be a better strategy, and of course, jumping online and looking at other people's um, comments about certain things can be helpful, but I can also find chasing too many people can make you even more confused and you forget to trust the core instinct of who you are as a parent because you know your child the best. There's been no parenting book written about your child in your home. So please come together through your heart when you have these conversations, not just through your head. And I hope that's given you a few clues on how we can co-parent with at least some harmony some days.